was your thought on the overtime goal? It looked like Petey may have been interfered with a little bit there. <clears throat> those two, those two refs are the best in the league. I, I, I got to take a look at it. You know, you know, more concerned about other stuff on that goal. Overall, and maybe this was one of them, but um, did, did it look to you like maybe Petey was a little off tonight? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, we gotta, I haven't liked this game in the last three or four games. We got to get him going. What in particular do you think he needs to do more? <clears throat> I think he's got to skate. He's got to start skating a little bit. I think he's, you know, I, I, I think he's good with the moves sometimes. But I think when you have speed and make those moves, that's when he's at his best. So yeah, we got to, he, he, I, you know, we'll get him going. There was parts of I really like parts of our game a good battle. Um, we had some, I think the Miller line was great. I, I, mean, I thought Mills and Suits were really good tonight. We had some good, you know, some some individuals that played really hard for us. Um, and, you know, obviously, overtime goal. Nice to see Puse get rewarded mm -hmm. offensively tonight for some of the good yeah. work he's done for your team all season long. Yeah, he played you know, He played hard again tonight. You know, he's has a puck on a uh, stick a lot. Um, yeah, he, he played hard tonight. What is Puse does so many things well, mm -hmm. but what, what is it in particular that he <clears throat> does that makes... The, the Miller Besser line work. Well, I think he can feed off Millsy because Millsy, you know, he's a power forward. And when he goes in crashing and does this thing with, a, I think Suits is a guy that can kind of find where, he, you know, where to go. You know, I think you, after he missed that, he had a beginning of the game, he missed someone over the net. He was mad, you could tell, because he's had a few chances lately. But it's nice to see him get rewarded tonight. He, uh, he was in the right spots. You know, good for him. Uh, what changes after 40 minutes did you like from the group in the third period there? I just I thought we had a lot of possession. We had uh, a couple of adjustments on our OZOP. You know, some some I think we had our D come in the middle more, get some more shots. Um, thought a little, some of our forwards were a little more tenacious on the second efforts, like the Suter goal. There's there's second effort goals. Um, I, I saw that a little bit more. Um, you know, overall I like the battle. Yep. Uh, how important is? The final game of this homestand now for you guys before the all-star break bouncing back off of a lost <clears throat> well i mean you know i mean it's like every game last before the break you want to have we, we, we want every game that's why we're whatever we're nine oh and two or whatever we try to win every game and we just fell a little short tonight uh, it seemed like zadorov uh only had the one shift in the third period was there something about his game or is, is there something an injury or is there a reason no i just footy i you know what he felt that he went to the, we wanted the best five to go. I think you know he was a little, I think he was a little late on a couple of coverages. He's got to be a little bit quicker on some, some reads, a couple of box outs there. I think he's you know you got to get there the quicker on the box outs. So we just went to five, and you know sometimes you try to do that, you shorten the bench. And on the first goal, is that a case of a Ford missing mm -hmm. a read and not stopping on the rails where you need him to? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, which one was that? That was a. Uh, open not the, the power play. play. Not on the power play, no. The no, I'm trying to think. The, 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 yeah, give, give it to me. Neighbors in the slot. Uh, oh, yeah. The, we're, I think Bess was a little late. Um, suits could have hung in there. We're a big rail team, so I think we could have waited just a bit, little bit longer. I mean, I mean, stayed there in that to, to protect the middle. Um, yeah, I think Bess and I think Suits maybe just a little late on that. i got to take a look at it again. But, yeah, you're right. The rails, yep. Rick, until the shift before that goal... Seemed like your forecheck had had them pretty bottled up for the first ten, maybe thirteen minutes of the game, and the rest of the period, it seemed like they were able to attack off the rush against you with a little yeah. more consistency or success. What changed in that first period from your perspective? We had a couple of guys that had a couple of turnovers. Like instead of continue what we we're doing, we we started to get away from it, and we we gave them two turnovers. We gave them a power play, and the momentum shifted. And then what happens on your forecheck if you lose? If you go in on the four check and you're on the wrong side, that's why that team's one of the better rush teams. And we talked about it. And that's how they got back in the game and got the momentum back. But I thought we corrected it. But we just got to stop with these turnovers, like at crucial times. It's, uh, you just can't do that. You know, you have to stay in a team game. I mean, you're going to have turnovers. You make a, we don't mind if you're trying to make a play. If you make a play, a turnover, if, if you do make a play, it's got to be a grade A. You can't make a, a turnover and whoever gets it, it doesn't matter. He's not going to have a great A chance. That's that's my philosophy. You know, is that <clears throat> if somebody's wide open and you turn it over, I get it if, because if it goes by, the guy gets an empty net. But if you're going to pass the puck and the guy's still got three guys to go through, it makes no sense. So I think that's really our philosophy is don't turn the puck over when it's 
you know, there's there's no play. I think that's really comes down to it. PK, the last 20 games, Rick has been operating at a league best efficiency. Yeah. Um, tonight, a four minute <clears> kill. <throat> How big was that in this game to keep you in the game? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, they score there. Who knows? Um, I felt after we killed that off, I saw a lot of juice on the bench. That's why I thought we got back in the game. A lot of guys were excited after that, uh, killing that four minutes. Because, you know, they score there. Who knows? You know, um, but I, I do like the, the resolve. I didn't like the PK goal we gave up. Uh, but it, we haven't given up too many. But I think uh, that four minute was great. Great for us. Yeah, you know, obviously happy with that. You know, I rally back from being down two goals twice. So it's... Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, obviously, couldn't finish. Uh, kind of disappointing, but uh, yeah. How much you enjoy playing on that line and having an offensive role? Yeah, obviously, a lot. You know, uh, we get a lot of offensive shifts, uh, create a lot of chances, could have a few more, and uh, so it makes a lot of fun and uh, just kind of try and keep going like that. Rick, give you any specific sort of instructions to join that line and what that line means? Uh, no. no, I mean, kind of know myself, right? They're two great playmakers, so you just got to open up space, get pucks back, and kind of be around the net because they're going to make things happen. So just try to do that. Playing with two uh, obviously good wingers before you got moved onto that line, but when you're playing in a prime role like that, do you feel pressure to score? Do you think you have to uh, put something on the board when you're playing with offensive players? Yeah, hey, obviously, you know, you're, you're in a line that's uh, supposed to score. Um, at the end, you just try to play your game win those 50-50 battles, be at the net, and then, you know, sometimes they go in like today, and then uh, other time you see you hit the post or something. So you can't really exactly measure like that, but definitely uh, obviously you want to do something like that. How much of the puck did you get on the third goal? Well enough. <laughs> uh, not much, I think, kind of bounced on a stick. Obviously there's a lot of sticks around there, and being six on five, but uh, it was enough, so it was a good thing to tie the game. Is that your first NHL hat trick? I uh, no. Second. How long ago was the first? Uh, my sixth career game. So. On your second goal, did you see that the goaltender was a little out of his net when he went to play the puck? Was it just a matter of getting the puck off as quickly as you could? Uh, no, actually, I think a little bit of patience. You should get it off too quick. You know, he was trying to play a little bit, and I saw Bass being there. So when I got it, I know he's gonna slide and just kind of. I knew I had enough time, so uh, you got to pick your spot then. Was the team happy with in the third period the way you guys played? Yeah, obviously, you know, you rally back from being down, fill up pucks deep, cycle a lot, and you know, get pucks back in the four check, and then uh, just got to get guys to net and pucks in net, which we did mostly a good job. The last game against the Blues was similar in terms of them kind of trying to grind you down on a low scoring game. What is it about the Blues that makes them kind of a challenge to break down? Uh, you know, they're big, strong guys. They play hard and. Uh, you got one line that's really flying out there, so you got to be careful. And it's, uh, yeah, like like I said, it's a, we're really getting the puck deep, getting it up, and get to the net, that kind of game. Which uh, this time, you know, sometimes the tips goes in, and sometimes not. And today was we kind of got those rebounds and a few more other chances, but it was really close. You have to make your decisions fast against them. Yeah, exa- yeah, they 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 swarm a lot, so sometimes try to cut off the back. So sometimes it's a bit fast, sometimes a bit more patience. Which I think as the game went on, we did a little better job. (laughs) (laughs) Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.